Welcome back to the duck call room. Phil's with us, and he didn't know that Sai's been. And we got a special guest. Yeah, Sai's been. Jordan. Going monocle Jordan. for a month. I'm back. One yeah. eyeglass. We got Jordan uh, Summit in the house. Sir. Thank you for having me. For a special right. time because yeah. Martin. Martin's on the road. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Martin was supposed to be here, and he was like, hey, I. Am I going to have to. Go he, for he's it. on the road. He just he's texted me. Road. He's on the road. He duck hunting this morning. Yeah, and he could have been oh, here on time, yeah, but he did. too many ducks. Is it open in Arkansas? <laughs> I don't know. Because I know it's closed in Louisiana. Yeah, he, he drove, <laughs> he drove, to, drove Arkansas. to Arkansas yeah, this okay, morning. Okay. Uh, killed some ducks. Yeah, I didn't want to make sure I didn't. I, I was thinking, wait a minute, is it even moat? Because then it'd be illegal. He's Martin is by the I book. Who, I don't know who, who keeps putting my mic down. I don't either, but. Yeah. They always do. It's always sitting on the thing. I had like like this, boys. All right, now, all right, we're back. We're ready. All right. How now are you we're doing? ready to go. Did you go hunting this morning? No, I went hunting yesterday. For, and you're just still wearing deer. the same clothes? Yeah, well, I just got up this morning. That's what I feel. You've kind of turned into a deer hunter. No, I not what I've I heard. And, oh, it was great. It was great. You hunt. like the transition? Has it been good to you? Yeah, we messed up because we're sitting there, you know, and it's about, all oh, quarter to five, and a buck comes walking out of the just – out of the edge of the woods. We're on the pipeline. Just yesterday? Yeah. You know, so he comes walking out. And at first I said, ooh, that's a good one. You know, because all I see is big white antlers coming out. Then when I look at him with binoculars close, you know, it's a full point. He's got the brow tines and then he's a spike. But it actually comes way out, okay, and Mountaineer comes back and touches. Really? Yeah, about three-year-old, you know. He was a call buck. We should have shot him. But well, we're watching. Hey, who knows what he'll look like yeah. next year? You know, yeah. yeah, but we're watching him, and then he's in the woods, and Stone said, "Yeah, that was a cold buck. We should have shot him. It was a cold buck." Yeah, you know, and I said, well, "Wait a minute." I said, "Maybe he'll be bigger next year." <laughs> Phil, you seen any good cold bucks this year? <laughs> no, but uh, jo Jordan knows what he's talking about. Right. Yeah. Well, you got to stand uh, yeah, the herd. I mean, you don't want. You don't oh, yeah. want. Okay. You know. You don't want a bad <laughs> antler deer. Oh. That's right. You know, breeding the it's management the practices. No. Nah, yeah. you, you want you want like a ten point, eight point or ten point. Yeah. You know? Okay. And that's when he was a four point. <laughs> yeah. That's just deer hunter talk. We can talk. Well, no, that's just well, deer. Just no, we can talk deer hunter talk. I mean, I do have like two hundred and fifty two questions. Well, hey, start first. asking one. Now. Yeah, let's well, see. Take it. it. I did forget my computer this morning because I was in a rush. <laughs> but I did remember my drink. But I have this I fancy pen. Thanks for bringing that to us. What are you drinking? Coke Zero. Coke. Oh, good grief. I'm trying not to be fat, but I am anyway. It's falling apart here. All right. Movie. Well, Mickey says, hope you can get to my question. You were going to last time Mickey Mouse? before Cy si punched John David. Nikki. Mickey, I don't have oh, your question anymore. Mickey, oh, Mickey, Mickey or Mickey? Mouse? Oh, I thought oh. Mickey Mouse had wrote us. Yeah. Well, I guess it's. I, I was getting excited. What? Yeah. Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> You're you're excited to be alive right, this hey, morning. Good. This is going right. to be a great. Hey, he can finally see. Man. I can finally see, son. He hey, can see. It's a new life. He's here. the bionic man. He got a new lung. That's He's right. got new eyes oh, and some other new okay, stuff. Okay, so now that you have all this new stuff, yeah. Life this is person's good. name is weird, so I don't know. It's not pronounceable. <laughs> if you could experience anything in the world, this is a very broad question. Any experience in the world, what would it be, Sai? Sai wants to. No, no. Very simple. Flying. No. Falling. Hey, I'm, that's going to happen because, hey, here's the best thing for you to have. You need to have a close relationship with Jesus. You have that, though. I know, and I love okay, it. Okay, so that's that's thing. Hey, or? that's it. Hey, I don't need nothing. I was going to go with I mean, Safari, so now hey. I feel like a loser. <laughs> no, you know, oh. it's always a given that you want a relationship with Jesus. So now you can say what else. Yeah. And what yeah. else? And what else? Okay, what else? Be superficial for Fine. a while, Well, hey, look, I'm so... You know, if you've got a close relationship with Jesus, what else could you possibly need? He came to give life abundance. Hey, look I'm inside. telling you. <laughs> you're right, Sal. Si. You're no, right. No, no, because no, yeah. i got to throw this in there. I'll preach a, a great lesson on it. Okay, look, there is... Yo, know, Jesus came down. He left heaven and came down. And became flesh, okay, for one reason. To bring us life, and not only just to bring us life, but to bring it to the fullest. More abundantly. Yes, abundantly. Mm -hmm. okay. New KJV. Or to the fullest. But look, 
you can't even use the word, you know, because, you know, if you're with Jesus, you have a full life, okay? Without Jesus, I'm not even going to use the word life because, look, without him, all there is is darkness and evil. I had to say that. I all preached a great lesson on it the other day at church. Okay, so what now? Hey, I'll, I'll stop preaching. Well, you don't have to for now. Preaching. For now, <laughs> for now, we'll okay. be back next second. Now, what was right, the question? <laughs> what? Now, what was any the experience? Any experience in the world? Like, do you want to go to the Super Bowl? Do you want to go ride an elephant? Do you want to go oh, scuba no. diving? No, I brought this up on on the earlier podcast, way way back there. I want to ride a giraffe. Oh yeah. Okay. No, I'm serious. There are to no wrong fair. answers. Look, to be them, fair. No, no, they got them two knobs on the side of their head, on gonna, the top of their head. Is that, that why you would ride them, though? No, no. Yeah, I want to ride him right there, right behind his ears, and I'll hold on to the two knobs. <laughs> Jordan, that might okay. be kind of cool. Where would no, you no, ride no. a giraffe? Because look, that will give me a bird's eye view now that I can see. Didn't the kids like draw <laughs> a not, picture of that? That's right. Yeah, they did. It's Is somewhere it? in here. But anyway, <laughs> somewhere in here. No, no. A kid did draw a picture of me on top of a, a, a giraffe's head. Ah, well, I bet, I bet you would if you could. It's like on a big ride, big like like riding a big crane. You like? Yeah, yeah. And hey, woo, that woo. sucker. Hey, with well, that sucker, he's got them long legs. Hey, he can get it. Oh, he can outrun a racehorse. To be fair. Now my experience is to watch Cy si ride a giraffe. Yeah, that's like, right. That's, I'd like to see how that turns hey, out. For that's you. probably hey, be the happiest moment how of my much life. Fun that would be watching expect, you ride a giraffe. No, no, especially if I could do it in Africa. Well, you can anything oh, you yeah. want. Hey, I yeah, mean, yeah. very yeah. hypothetical situation. Yeah. Hey. You can do whatever you want. Oh, he did put that in there. Yeah, whatever. It's, yeah, what it's whatever you want. Anything in the world. Hey. Yeah. Well, that's the place I want to do it. I want to drive. I want to ride the the tallest giraffe in the world, in Africa. If I had my computer right now, I would Google oh, yeah. the tallest giraffe in the world. <laughs> oh, he's up there. They? He's up there. Real like twenty five. I fed or? one. Yeah. one no, nah, they ain't no twenty five. I've never seen one. Oh, they're they're oh, huge. Oh, I, I think, would say they're yeah. Like they're 20, up there about twenty five feet. How tall is a giraffe? So that's right. Slow. Google it, baby. Google it. Google it. Hey, 20. Google it. I, I rode a that. camel one time. Nineteen feet. You've oh. ridden a camel? Yeah, oh yeah. I rode a camel. Double before. hump or single hump? That's an important uh, question. Hey, that is a high end. I'm serious. It was a single. Single? Yeah. Not as cool. Oh, no, I'm going to ride a double. <laughs> Still a camel. Hey, because, hey, no. you got a, look, hey, you camel. got a backrest, too, with a double. <laughs> the built-in saddle, Jordan. No, that's it. Uh, hey, that's it. <laughs> I'm with him on this. And look, them suckers can run. A camel. Camel? Yeah, they they, 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 oh, they have races in the desert that's... all the time. They stay. Hey, Rab, they have. Yeah, they do stink. And I would like to watch that hey, right now. Hey, hey Rab, they Rab. His, his camel was named Clyde. Hey, Rab, they Rab. That's right, Clyde. With a camel named Clyde. That's right, with a camel named Clyde. And on boy. that note, we're going to ride right into a break and probably not break, stop. Let's break, ride Clyde break. into a break, baby. And then we'll be back. Look, hey, we all know we talk about being healthy. Here. Look, we're your normal everyday guys in this podcast room. We got me, Godwin, Stone, Martin, Phil, Jordan's with a size with us. And one thing we, you know, we're not great at, but we try and do is live a healthier lifestyle. Phil, you've been taking Athletic Greens, haven't you? I have for two weeks, me and my wife, and we love it. You got, I mean, you're both on it. My wife just started taking it. Look, Athletic Greens is awesome. You don't have to have all these pills and all these vitamins and all this other stuff and keep up with it because whenever you take one scoop of Athletic Greens in the morning, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole foods, source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging, all the things. And look, you might be thinking, well, that's probably expensive. It's not. I paid more for the drink that I bought in here today. You're spending money on drinks anyway. Switch over to this. It's going to make you feel better. It's going to make you just, it's a great way to start your day. I've said it 700 times on this podcast. Just trust me on this one. You're going to like the way that you feel. 
Uh, and if you're on a diet, look, it works with it. Whether you're on Godwin's diet, my diet, which hasn't been that great lately, but hey, I'm struggling. <laughs> but I'm going to keep trying. This is a healthy, great way to start your day. So right now, it's time to reclaim your health and your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into the flu and cold season. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for all those different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash duck. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash duck to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Hey, I love it. Oh, hey, no, that, no, that's what. Hold on. No, no. We're not rolling. Oh, well, roll it. Roll it. That's on him, yeah, not on me. You better rolling. be rolling hey. when this man says funny no, no. stuff. <laughs> you just remind me, we need to have a giraffe race. Oh, my goodness. I thought we were oh. first step. Find a couple giraffes. That's right. Oh no, not a couple. No, we won't yeah, have at least a real 10. deal. Like ten. They're gonna have we'll to call make special. It. They're gonna have to make special gates for them, though. <laughs> Sorry, what, what's he the has thought horse? about this no, no, hey, a no. lot. Oh no, we'll get hey, you Brewster can't have to a call it horse gate. You got to have a giraffe gate. And on giraffe number one, it's That's Uncle Sai hey. coming up on the inside. I can just see them right now with them long stretches of that for a living. <laughs> Yo, and he won by a ear. <laughs> no by neck. No by ear. That's a long run. Oh, no, because I'd be pushing his head forward. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So hey. that the, our experiences hey, involved giraffes. That's my experience. Ride a giraffe in, in Africa in a in a giraffe race. In a giraffe race. Not hey, just being chased by crocodiles. If somebody okay. made a cartoon of all the words you said, just want it would be painting. the greatest like Saturday morning television hey, show on earth. Painting, I like yeah. that. Yeah, let's get let's get your nephew to to paint that. Somebody paint us that and send it. Will I need to say oh. ref race oh. and hey. Well, you look. You gotta have. Oh, you gotta have <laughs> incentive. I was the crocodiles chasing your incentive. Yeah. You can do anything when alligators right. are chasing. Hey. That is true. Hey, all right, Sai. He said, "Any was there anything anywhere? God, what?" Next, you ready for the next question? Yeah, yeah. Ready, right. Do you want a side medical question, <laughs> oh, or do you want medical question? A Duck Dynasty question. I'd rather have the medical question. <laughs> okay. Well, Kristen <laughs> simply asked, "Does Sa si have hemorrhoids?" Hey, can no, we? Can we? Let's no, vote on hey, it. But my namesake, Silas Jason Robinson, does. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bad hold deal. On, hold on. Hold Take on. that, Jason. <laughs> I just told the whole world you have hemorrhoids. <laughs> I remember a story from a long time ago That's about what... Vicks Vapor Rub being hey. a cure for hemorrhoids. No, no. Look. So is that true? That you told. No, you no. Told. I'm serious. We're in the duck blind. He would eat it. And we hear this. Oh, 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 oh. Is it the dog blue? No, it ain't. It's Jace. Oh. He's whining. He said, well. oh, my goodness. He said, my hemorrhoids are acting up. <laughs> y'all, told y'all that yeah yeah because we asked you hey what's all the moaning what is wrong with you he said hey my hemorrhoids are acting up it happens and i said well hey i have the cure you know he said what he said you don't have a cure you know nothing about medicine i said hey look yes i do i said i have the cure <laughs> yes i do i said yes Boys. i do i said because hey i've had them before I said, but I've got the cure, and I cured mine. There you go, Kristen. So, hey, Phil <laughs> says, well, now you want the cure. And I said, Vicks Faber up. And a lighter. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, you don't need a lighter. Hey, Vicks Vapor Rub is like gasoline. It has fumes. Yeah. <laughs> a okay, lighter, yeah. Vicks Vapor Rub, seven yeah. ice cubes. So, look, they said, wait a minute. Cheese Phil said, wait a minute. Vicks Vapor Rub is like gasoline. It has fumes. He said, no, you don't want, no. He said, you want to do it because he said, I said, hey, look, I'm telling you. I said, you put Vicks Viper Rub on the hemorrhoids, okay, and, you know. And then throw the can away. That's right, throw the can can. away, that's right. (laughs) Throw it all away. That's right, throw it all away, you know. But, you know, Jason said, you know, and he was still over at morning the rest of the day. I said, hey, just sit over and suffer, idiot. Now, is this. I said, I gave you the, I gave you the cure. You won't use it, hey. Suffer. 
Is this something that y'all used growing up in your family? I, hey, my mama used it as a cure-all for I just everything. Put it on anything. She would make him eat it out of a spoon, no, 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 like no, for no. a headache. Look, hey, sore throat. Hey, there's hey. a list of things that it takes care of. Ugh. Hey, look, sore throat ain't on there. Well, yeah, it is. D- not to swallow it. It may not be in the medical book, but hey, mom used it. Mm. Look, hey, a cold. Put it on your chest. Yep, I, I, that works. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, use as a okay. record. If the yeah. fumes, you're smelling it. Oh, right. mm-hmm. cold's mm-hmm. gone. Done it. Yeah. Sore throat, take a little bit in a teaspoon, swallow it. I ain't talking about, you know, don't take a big bunch of it. Mm. That'd be weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. only just, do that once. Just enough to coat You put throat. it like on a biscuit or something like that? Well, no, no. She just done put it in the Right spoon. out of the spoon. Yeah. It's all. That and casserole. No, she put it on toast. No, no, that and casserole. Here, eat your breakfast, son. Them you was, them you put Vicks Vapor Rub in a casserole? No, no, not a casserole. Castor oil. Oh. Castor oil. Castor oil. Okay. That was the two cure all. They'll cure anything. Okay. Mm. Th- to be fair. No, I'm serious. Sounds like he knows what he's talking no, no, about. No, no, Mama, you kicking. did. I'm, I'm telling you. It was old, old you know, this is, uh, you know, old remedies. I think we need to put a disclaimer out there. Before using Vicks Vapor Rub, please read the bottle please. and uh, oh, no, no, use no. as directed. No, no, Phil was Only right. Only use as no, directed. No, no, Phil was right. You don't put it around your eyes. Did not know where well, that was yeah. going. He wouldn't put it around your eyes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it in any eye. orifice. Well, yeah. no, no. Any opening no, of no. the body. Hey, look, I'm telling you, look. <laughs> Unless you got no. Here's okay. the deal. Okay, boys. No, no. Here's the deal. Prove him. If your hemorrhoids are acting up, they're hurting, okay, or itching, Okay, or any of that. Vicks Vapor Rub will make it stop itching. It will make it stop hurting. Okay, and it will, there's no pain. Now, there is a little burning at first. <laughs> at first. Mm. At first. So visit well, VicksVaporRub.com and use hey, code DUCK yo, for 20%. <laughs> go to real. flamethrower.com. Well, no, no, here's the fumes. deal. Okay, here's my, my take on it. Let's use, let's use a little common sense. Oh, we've you've lost got, common sense. No, no. Well, long. You've got an know. ailment. You've got an ailment. This is true. Amputated leg. Okay. No, no. You've got an ailment. You got something bone. that's bothering you. It's hurting. Like a wasp sting. Yeah, like a wasp sting. Yeah. Okay. Because hey, look, what is it? Where are we going uh, with this? Get dope out by a wasp. Purple tail wasp. Okay. A person that chews tobacco or dip snuff, take it, put it on the wasp sting, and it, it'll take the pain. Mm. I'd rather pain. hurt. That's just one of the old remedies. Hey, can you spit that into my hand so that I can? Well, that? no, no. Hey, <laughs> spit on my arm. Just, <laughs> hurry, no, hurry, it's stinging. No, I won't do that. But hey, here, here. Let me take my pocket knife out, cut you off a child. You chew it and then spit you on. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it's the old remedies. You know, my did, that, okay. did that answer the medical question? Yeah. It was. Oh yeah. Kristen was just very curious. Yeah. Oh, bird. Came more All right, quick one. Uh, from Chloe. Chloe. Chloe asks, why did Duck Dynasty stop? Because the people that were spending the money, <laughs> we had made them enough, I guess. That's I mean, my answer. I mean, also, it was 130 uh, episodes. So, I mean, we were eventually about to just start filming. Oh, we made, them, we made them about $500 million. They oh, could have made another $500 million, but hey. We said one word that they didn't like very much. What word was that? That was Jesus. But that was in every episode. Well, I'm yeah. just saying. Hey, yeah. I, I think mean, every. I think everybody was happy when it ended. It wasn't. Were like, you? Did you want it to keep going? Uh, me, I was having a blast. Okay. Huh. But the you're gonna have them, a blast anyway. Uh, well, hey, that's hey, that's my motto. If I can't have fun, guess what? He'll be at the house. He ain't. He ain't coming. <laughs> That's interesting. I didn't know that you were like, hey, let's just keep on rolling right, with this. That's it. Let's go with it, boy. I thought everybody was kind of tired because, I mean, it that's was what I thought. five years of your life. And I don't know if, hey, I that, don't know if you know this. Yeah. You you were the star of the show. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so I just figured you might have been like, okay, yeah, this was a good I, run. I, no, I didn't know that because I don't, I don't watch it. Oh yeah, they, I never did watch it. The episodes that's, with you were pretty good. That's oh, the oh. funniest thing is we wow. would record it every Wednesday night, and after church we get home we'd watch it. Well, Sal would come over. Okay, boys, what's going on? <laughs> I said, Sal, we watching Duck Dynasty. Sit down and watch it with us. 
Huh. I'm gone. I don't want to watch that junk. I have to live it every day. And he walks out. I'm gone. You know what's He wouldn't funny watch it. Is my son, he was like three when all this was going on. He's now 14, and he watches it on YouTube and clips here and there. And the other day, he came up to me. He goes, Dad, why don't they still do Duck Dynasty? That show was really good. It was, pretty, it was a pretty good show. <laughs> you said that. Look, we done a, a podcast the other day for treasures hunting. Femin. <clears throat> yeah. This lady comes in, and she's one of the my assistants. I'm, I'm trying to find a new assistant. Okay, and she's applying for the job. And she said, hey. You you didn't call me, no. But Johnny anyway, D. This lady finally tells me she said, "Hey, do you remember taking a picture with me when I was six? Oh boy! <laughs> and I said, "No, darling, I don't." I said, "You've grown since then." <laughs> you know, she's probably what eighteen, maybe twenty one yeah. now. Yeah. Been a minute. Yeah, 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 been a few years. It has been a while, but yeah, that's well. Here's the deal: if you like Duck Dynasty, we keep. There's Unashamed, there's this podcast, Duck Family Treasure. Mm -hmm. We're still throwing stuff out there. Yeah. Duck Commander, Buck Commander That's YouTube. Right. And I go content. out there once in a while to the, the people. The people. And, and speak. Tell a few stories yeah. from the yeah, road. Tell a few stories and stuff. All right. Yeah. Well. So, I'm still available. I just learned something today, though, because I was like, I thought, you know, it had ran its course with everybody and everybody was tired and thought it was good to go, but Cy would keep doing it. Oh, yeah. Hey. hey, you heard it here first, people. As long as they keep. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Man's got a price tag hey, on his long time. As they keep putting the green in his hand. I'm available. Jordan, you're in here today. Hey, how many kids do you have? 17? That sounds like it, doesn't it? Yeah. 18. And so how I'm many subscription services oh, are you a part of? I land. You don't know, do you? No. Well, I, guess what, I Jordan? a lot. I found this product. We've They used to be called Truebill. Now they're rocket money. It's an app, personal finance app, that finds and cancels your unwanted subscription, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills all in one place. Look, in this day and age, you got to subscribe to everything for seven days for free. Next thing you know, you paid for it for a year. This is going to keep you from wasting money on apps that you don't even use, that you don't even know that you're paying for. Three, four dollars a month. It's going to add up, and on average, I think people say about $600 a year with wow. Rocket Money. Mm. Mm. I hope that's true. Or No, it's not true. $720 per oh, year. Wow. That's up even better. Booyah. So you can do Thank that. You. So, Jordan, you got a bunch of subscriptions. I know you do. Oh, my gosh. Shoes and video games are about to kill me. Yeah. So, look, this is going to put it all in one place so you can see what you're spending each month on each of your subscriptions. And then you know, look, we're canceling this one. We're canceling this one. It's going to save you a lot of money, man. That's what I need. Hey. Save money. I've been guilty many times. Martin makes fun of me all the time. But now that I have Rocket Money, we're streamlining that process. And I got more money to spend on Cy for his birthday coming up in April. So, look, <laughs> it's tough out there. I know I'm not the only one. It's guaranteed you've got a subscription you forgot about that you need somebody to help you out with. So stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash duck. That's rocketmoney.com slash duck. Rocketmoney.com slash duck. Si, what are you doing? Getting, getting right. your tea ready? Lemon he, packet. He's right. on lemon, lemon packet number three. Right. Well, he got hey, off hey. the juice. John. I don't remember the lady that sent me these. Oh, you've gotten tons of them. I know. Have you ever just popped oh, yeah, one of those? It was, just it was a lady that first done it. Hey, she give said, me one. She said, my husband. Oh, here we go. We're going to try this out in you, know, you don't know who's handling the lemons when you buy them. It's just lemon powder. This yeah. is lemon I've crystal. never seen this. Yeah, lemon crystal. Crystal lemons. Do you yeah, want to eat one straight? Because it will get you. Anyways. Uh, and it's actually good, and it's actually, uh, what is the word, sanitary. Very sanitary, Jordan. Very sanitary. It's the most That's sanitary. Individual pack. I'm down to just ice. Anyway, I think we have a perfect question for Jordan Summit. Oh, boy. Okay. That is, boy, boy. Random. Fire. It's not a real name on his Instagram account, but he asked, pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Oh, no. No? No. I hate pineapple on pizza. I hate anything sweet on a pizza. Okay. Everybody got quiet when I said that. No, I don't I'm like with you. I'm I don't agreeing. like barbecue pizza. I'm a... Pepperoni, like sausage, salted bacon, meat like salted, yeah. yeah, salted meat, cheese, bread. Do you think pineapple on pizza is an okay no. thing, Si? Pineapple goes on the upside down cake. That's right. <laughs> That's right. 
<laughs> Wait, does okay. it go on an upside down cake yes. or underneath an upside well, down Well, yeah, I think you cook it underneath. But then, okay. It's upside down. But it's upside down. <laughs> mm. so you don't put it on the top. You put it on the bottom, upside down. <laughs> That's why it's upside called upside down cake. It doesn't go on a pizza, though. No, no it doesn't go on a it pizza. It does not go on. I'm not, I'm not Jordan on that. Ooh. Now, if you want to throw some jalapeno peppers, pepperoni, mm, all go. kind of different mm. cheeses, and then eh, a little bit of hamburger meat, too, makes it good. Inside, so, people don't know it, but you like to brick your pizza. That's right. And what that is. Make it crunchy. You don't take a brick and brick it. Okay. And no good. No good. You don't. Yeah. Oh, so, man. You actually put it in the oven. You cook it once. I'm awake now. And then you take it out, and then you put it back in, and you cook it another five minutes to give it a little. Little crunch. Little crunch. crunch on the crunch on crunch we call edges. it well done well done well, 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 medium plus Break it. medium plus right. um i just ate one of those lemon packets and now i feel like i can see through walls um <laughs> but here's another question and this one's actually super interesting to me and i don't know that you've ever talked about super interesting jake tyler emails in i don't know if his name is jake or tyler or if it's two friends or it's jake tyler or it's jake tyler or it's tyler jake yeah or tyler jake one of those seven people emailed yeah. in TJ and asked, what was it like on the plane ride knowing you're going to Vietnam? Ooh. Oh, my God. That's a little heavy. But st- I st- hey, start with the letter, greetings. Huh. Huh. Yeah, greetings. Uncle Sam wants you. Yo, I was in college, and, and I had three other brothers that was going to college with me. And they was always saying, you're too dumb to pass college. But that's another story. <laughs> but anyway, you know, they had told me, well, hey, look, you better you better start studying. And I said, look, I'm majoring in party and minor and in women. Uh-oh. I don't have time to study, okay, because I'm too many. I'm chasing the women and I'm partying too much. Ladies, man. That's right. I ain't got time for studying. But anyway, they said, well, hey, yeah, when you flunk out, you'll when you go to Vietnam, you'll, you'll wake up. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, so I didn't, okay. I quit, okay. I did one semester. Then I, you know, I took all my finals, you know, didn't care, okay. So, look, finals are over, and I had told my brothers and their wives, because they had cooked me a bunch of meals while I was in college, that, hey, look, I'm working, so, hey, look, you know, here's $100. Go buy a bunch of ribeye steaks and, you know, you grill them, you know. So they did. So I come there, to, you know, knock on the door. Nancy looks through the little peephole and says, have you checked your grades? And I said, no, I'm not interested in my grades. She worked in the registrar's office, <clears throat> you know. So she checked your grades. Yeah, you know, <laughs> so she had seen my grades, you know. Well, about two weeks Prior to that, they had all jumped on me one night. We was overeating at Nancy's house. Tommy and Nancy had, was feeding me. And all my other brothers were there. So they had jumped on me. You're just too dumb. You'll never make it in college all that. And I said, no, it ain't because I'm too dumb, idiots. <laughs> I said, I'm not interested in a college degree. College ain't for everybody. Yeah, no. you know. So anyway, they kept on about dumb. So... Yo, know, Nancy said, hey, have you checked your grades? I said, Nancy, I don't care about my grades. I'm not coming back. She said, yeah, but you need to go. And I said, no, I don't. You know, she finally opened the door. I said, are you going to let me in or not? So she finally let me in, sat me down with just two on my rear end, royally. <clears throat> you know, and she said, Do you, well, she said, you don't really? I said, no, I don't care. You know, I said, hey, I'm not coming back. She said, well, you, just so you'll know, she said, you missed a A average by two points. And I said, would you do me a favor? And she said, what's that? I said, tell my stupid three brothers that it's not because I'm too ignorant to pass since I did pass. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yo, I've never even been to class. No. <laughs> Hey, would you do me a favor? What's <laughs> yeah. that, Cy? Si? Can you go to Vietnam for me? <laughs> no, no. But hey, anyway, okay. Cy, si, you didn't even want to go to college. Well, Your mom no, no. made you go. No, no. My mother is the one that convinced me, okay? And I told her, don't waste your money. You and Dad worked too hard for it. She said, nope. 
She said, and I said, well, give me a reason. Why should I go? She said, because when you're 45 years old and digging ditches for a living, you can't say, well, mom and dad didn't give me an opportunity to go to college. She said, so, hey. She said, so I said, well, all I'm going to do is party. She said, well, make it a big one. <laughs> and I said, okay, mom, I will. So for one semester, I partied. And then I said, bye. But as soon as I said, bye, I went home. <laughs> Guess what next mail, in the mail, what came? Uncle Sam wants you, Sam <laughs> Robertson. So what and about I, the hey, plane ride? Oh, no, no. Here's the deal. You got to think something. Okay. I take basic training, Fort Georgia, uh, uh, Fort Benning, Georgia. Okay. I take AIT at uh, Fort Lee, Virginia. We're graduating, Fort Lee, Virginia, AIT. Okay. So they start naming names from A and they get to R. Mm -hmm. Okay. Germany, Germany, Korea, Korea. Korea. You know, Cy Robertson, Vietnam. Uh oh. Okay. Next man. Okay. Germany, Germany, Korea, Korea. And everybody <laughs> looks at good grief, Uncle Cy. You know, you know, you know good grief. Only one that got you know, picked. No, no. Vietnam. no man, hey. Who did you piss off? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and I said, I don't know, but hey, I always knew I was going to Vietnam because that's all I heard when I was in college. My brother said, you better start studying and get some good grades or you're going to Nam. So look, but what's it like going to Nam? Well, guess what? The night before I'm fixing to get on the plane, me and my buddies, okay, and they're going to Nam too, mm -hmm. you know, or some of them I'd met, you know, yeah. And uh, guess what we do? I got no idea. The movie Green Beret was coming out with John Wayne. Ooh. So look, we go to the movies, okay, and I am literally watching this movie and about to just, you know, <clears throat> have a bad time <laughs> with my bowels. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay, watching this movie. Vicks Vapor Rub. Yeah, right. and then the, hey, the next morning I get on the plane and I'm headed to Nam. You know, so it was a little uh, scary, okay? Oh, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, once you got there, then hey, there you go. There hey, you tell go. them about there. when you landed and you went into that airport in Alaska. Was it oh, Alaska? Oh, no. No, no. Look, you, Anchorage, Alaska, you had to fly over the mountains and then you had to do a deep descent coming in because it's in a valley. You know, so it's one of them. You know, well, we land, they don't have any uh, things that come out to the plane. They roll one out, and you walk down the steps, and then go inside. Welcome to the Army. Yeah. Well, no, no. Look, I'm in khakis, short sleeve, okay, light, summertime uniform. It's 40 below. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I get off the plane. We walk, you know, <laughs> and by the time I get in, you know, then when I get inside, it's warm, and you know how cold it was really outside because you golly. So, look, I come walking around a corner. Of a, of a, you know, the building. And when I walk around, here's a 14 <laughs> foot grizzly bear like this. It's like they had a heart attack, you know. Because his claws, I'm telling you, the claws were about that long. Did you out. run? Did I run? I like to faint it. <laughs> what did the grizzly bear do? Huh? He stuffed. Just stood his ground. It's, it's a, it's yeah, a, he stood his ground. No, no. Hey, it's a full mounted grizzly bear that's about 14 feet 14 high. 14 feet. Mm. That's almost as tall as a female giraffe. Hey, he, oh, he could. I know stand, that from. He couldn't stand Google. in this building right here. Wow. That's a big They'd have to knock a hole in it and let him come on up. Mm. Oh, he's huge. You know, and I'm telling you. His claws were as long as that, sticking out. And then he had his mouth and his teeth looked about that long. <laughs> like that heart attack, boys. I'm glad you didn't. All uh, right. Well, before Cy has a heart attack. But about, hey, Nam was scary riding to it. For sure. The yeah. unknown. I mean, yeah. The yeah, unknown, yeah, the unknown yeah. scary. Yeah. And we thank you for doing that. Oh, absolutely. Hey, and we you. thank all our veterans out there. Mm -hmm. I think they all know we love them, but can't say it enough. We're going to take a break. and We'll be right back.
no, all, no. Of, all of his other pigeons died. No, no, that was the craziest thing. Look, I hit this pigeon with a sailor, flat rock. Okay. And look, it hit his head and it twisted it 180. <laughs> and didn't laugh. kill him and didn't break his neck. Oh, boy. He's like I'm an kidding. owl now. It, hey, it twisted his head 180 degrees. And he kept throwing it up in the No, air. no, yeah. I throw it down and he would just, bam. <laughs> bam. <laughs> Discombobulated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but now, because uh, Cy had a bunch of pet pigeons. Sorry, we were in a break. No, no, we look. Reading through 24, some of the... 24 pigeons in the coop. Okay. Just tell the whole story, sir. 25. No, no. I'm going to sit back because this is hilarious. No, no. Y'all, here we deal. We lived about... We had three stores in our in our town. Okay, we had uh, one of them was actually wasn't a store. They just carried a few things. It was actually the mail, the post office, the post office. It was actually the post postal office. service. Yeah, you know, but they did. They had little snacks and stuff and a coke and all this in there they could buy too. The other one was a real full blown store where you could get groceries and all this junk. You know. And pigeons. Yeah, you know, but anyway, in between the house and the stores, okay, and we had a tractor place that sold tractors. But that was downtown, <laughs> two stores and a tractor place. In between, between the house and there was a old cotton gin that wasn't in the operation anymore. Well, we would always go in there, okay, and we'd find baby pigeons, you know, that had, you know, they laid their eggs, mom had hatched them. You know, and then we we take them and raise them. You know, but anyway, also it was a tin roof on that cotton gin. There would always be a bunch of pieces pigeons on that tin roof. So every time we'd come by there, you know, be pigeon on top of the roof. Me and Phil look around, find us a rock. You know, <laughs> and, and I found me what we call a sailor. Sailor. It was flat. You know, no wind resistance. Okay. It was it was wind. Uh, how they they were like a plane wing, okay? No no wind resistance. It would skip on water real good. Yeah. Aerodynamic, skip a, water, a okay? skipper. Aero aerodynamic. Aerodynamic. Yeah. Aerodynamic. <laughs> so anyway, I find that and I said, "Uh oh, boys!" I said, "Today's the day." And Phil said, "What are you talking about?" I said, "I found me a sailor." You know, and they, he said, "Sailor." I said, "Yeah, flat." I said, "This thing's going." No wind resistance. I said, I'm going to get one today. He said, well, hey, you throw first, yo, know, and I got my rock ready, and I'm going to get me one. I said, oh, no, there ain't no, there ain't no be no throwing first. I'm fixing to get one with this rock. Ain't but one throw. So, hey, I took about three steps and just it was about 25 pigeons on the roof. Just, you know. Great. Well, hey, look, this thing is just like a like a incoming round. Well, when it starts the descent, you know, the pigeons are on the roof, you know, about 25 of them. It's, <laughs> you know, well, they're getting, hey, it's starting this descent. It's picking up speed. Getting nervous. They're getting nervous now, the fidgets. It's, it's, <laughs> well, about two foot above them, <laughs> they hit the air. <laughs> you know, 25, that's a bunch of they hit the air. Well, hey, that thing goes in the middle of it, and I'll see one doing this down the roof. Got him. Nailed hey. one. Nailed him. I'm about 100 yards away. Mm -hmm. But I was just like a bird dog, okay? 100. He threw a rock yeah. 100 yards. He also oh, yeah. set a world record for javelin that day. <laughs> Yo, hey, he comes falling off the roof, and I catch him. I catch him. You ran 100 yards that time? Hey, that fast. Wow. I catch him, and I look at him, Seems and I'm talking about, whoa, whoa. Something don't look right about this dude. He just got hit by a rock. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, look. I got him at the back. I got his wings in my hand. His chest is facing forward, but he's looking at me. <laughs> you know, so I had to do one of these numbers here. I had to go. I said, wait a minute. This pigeon, I'm looking at his chest now. You knocked him sideways. No, no. It hit him in the head, and look, it twisted his head. But it didn't kill him? No, no. It twisted him 180 degrees. Okay, <laughs> I'm looking at his chest, and he's looking the other way. <laughs> so I take him home, I was, you know, because I threw him up, and he just... <laughs> 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 
So I pick him up, take him home, put him in the pigeon coop. You know, with, the, with, the, with the other 25, now it's time 24 for pigeon, pigeon rehab. So look, me and my brother had a deal. Me and Phil had a deal. Even better. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, he would feed and water them. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, okay, I would feed them. Who fed them on Yo, Sunday? So, hey, look. It's just Thursday. Didn't get fed. No, no feed it's on Thursday, Sunday. so it's my day to feed and water them. So I wake up, you know, get go outside, you know, start getting the water and putting it in there. And when I walk up to the pigeon coop, hey, there's dead pigeons and blood everywhere. Mm. There has been a massacre, okay? A mass murder has occurred last <laughs> night. Okay, so I, I go in and say, Phil, he's what? I said, you got to come outside. And he said, no, you should. I said, I know it's my day, but hey, look, there's something. A blood bad bath. happened last night. Come on outside and look. You know, what are we going to do? So he comes out, and I hadn't noticed it before, okay? I was just overcome by all the blood and it just, a, just a total massacre that it had feathers happened. and blood hey there's one pigeon left <laughs> he's sitting on he's sitting on we had little bars he's sitting there okay his chest is toward us he's looking the other way eagle survive it's a long survivor he never saw him coming <laughs> no, no, no. Up behind no no cause me and Phil are looking at each other he said we got a long survivor uh oh and, and I, I looked at him, I said, what do you think happened? I said, they killed 24. Why would they let him live? And he said, the only thing I can think of, he said, hey, God, you got to go back to uh, Robert Redford starring in uh, Jeremiah, Johnson. Jeremiah Johnson. He said, remember the old lady that lived up in the canyon? Told me the Indians were scared of her because, hey, she wasn't right in the head, so evil spirits, you know. And you got to admit, hey, pitching, you know, eagle's different. <laughs> you know, so I, that's the so reason they didn't mess with him, so boy. the cats were talking to each other. What about that one up on the up don't there? Right, me, we're going to kill him. Tell me, no, oh, no, evil spirits, boy. <laughs> no, I <laughs> think that he just saw him coming from behind. That's right. Plus, you can't sneak up on him. Well, you know he didn't fly away. <laughs> yeah, they probably yeah. tried the, the old, I will come from the back. Tell me, no, that one can sell all. He saw us, boys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh my. Or maybe he never saw anything. Well, hey, uh, maybe so. I laugh at that story just as <laughs> but hard hey, as the first eagle, time I heard eagle, it. Oh, eagle survived, boys. Chuck Myers sent that question in, and we hadn't – Ty's told that story on the podcast, but if you're new to the podcast, you hadn't heard it, and that is – That was the prettiest pigeon. I've though, never heard okay? that story. <laughs> he, hey, look, he was beautiful, had his beautiful color, dark color. And then he had a, a a white head, just like a bald eagle. Mm. That's the reason I named him Eagle. He had a bald, he was white. It was backwards, but it was yeah. white. He, yeah. <laughs> it was white in the but back. You never sneak front. up, you, you never <laughs> gonna sneak up on the back of Eagle. Oh, yeah. We had like 10 people listen to this podcast until he told that story, and then psh, we took off. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, that is so funny. I don't think we can top that. Oh, Eagle's hard to beat. <laughs> And hard to kill. Hey, he he lived to be a right. I mean, yo, you talking about elder? <laughs> How old? He is probably a... lived to be twenty two years old. No, really? I'm serious. I'm serious. I took good wow. care of him. Good girl. You know? And hey, it, the cats wouldn't mess with him. They had they same way. If they, he lived to be twenty two, you went to Vietnam and came back, and he was still alive. Oh yeah, yeah. That's I'm telling you, long mm. life, boys. You should have mounted. Longevity. 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 If we yeah, had an eagle, the pigeon mount, oh, man. Because, I, I, I mean, if you pet I pigeon dies. I should have, but I couldn't do it. Couldn't I, do it. Well, yeah, you know. I, no. Good pigeons are hard to come by. Oh, the best one was, oh, here's another one. Uh-oh. Hold on. Oh, wait, okay. we hold, always, on. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, We're going to take a break. Oh, okay. Bye. And the break's going to be oh. this fast. Hey, we're back. Okay. okay. Hey, no. we're back. No. Uh, what was there was a break. To, there, what were you there was say? We are we ready? Yeah, we're just I never hey, stopped. Look, I just mama, said the word break. Mama. Okay, she finally talked, Daddy. Okay, we gotta have a new couch. Yeah. So <laughs> he finally relented and gave off the couch because hey, my my dad was so tight he squeaked when he walked. <laughs> but he didn't laugh out loud. Well no 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 he didn't laugh. But anyway, <laughs> so he finally mama said, Hey, we gotta have a new couch this time. I'm sick of it. 
So we get a brand new couch. You just we was always bringing home. Hey, big daddy. Hey, who is this? Martin. Hey, big daddy. Martin, Martin. 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 Y'all started with that. You missed hey, Eagle the Pigeon retold. Hey. Oh, but anyway, let me finish the story. Let him finish your story. Sorry. Mom had talked Dad into buying a new couch. Okay, so we throw this piece of junk that we'd have for 40 years probably. Hmm. Throw it out, okay? Bring in a brand new, and it, I think it was actually pink. I'm pretty sure it was pink actually couch. pink. A but pink anyway, couch? we bring it. So look, we've always had Very some kind of animal as a pet. Pigeons. Cat squirrels. Raccoons. Raccoons. Awesome. Okay, Army but anyway, we had a little cat squirrel as a pet. Well, guess what the first thing he does. I don't like where this is oh, going. Oh, no. Yeah. When he gets, when we get our new couch. He makes himself at home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no. And we just, you know, we were sitting on it and hearing, hearing it and wasn't paying attention. Every once in a while you hear one of the springs. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You know, we're paying no attention. Anyway, this cat squirrel is in there. He done gnawed a hole in the bottom. Of It was plywood on the bottom. He had gnawed him a hole through it so he could get inside. Then he had, <laughs> he had been pulling cotton out of the cushion. Okay, and he had him a nice, big, fluffy nest made with that cotton. Well, Mama sat down in it one time and, hey, Right there where she sat was a spring. On her new couch. On the new couch. And it stuck her in her behind. Mm. Okay, she jumped up yelling, okay. You know, we finally picked it up because it was one of these that you could make out of, into a bed. You know, so she lifted it up. We looked. Here's all these bare springs sticking up, you know. <laughs> You know, little did uh, anyone know my mother is country girl. She can shoot. Uh oh, she shot him. Oh yeah, yeah. Right there in the house. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That squirrel died. So y'all had that squirrel died. Then we skinned him and fried him up. Yeah, I was about to say. I know you ate him. <laughs> oh, we, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. that's my favorite wild game. He ain't going to waste. Jack. <laughs> Side. Please tell Jordan about about your dad not laughing out loud. Can you can you tell no, him? No, no, no. Look, we it, got it, time, John David. Yeah, here's the thing. My father. Okay, I've never. You heard would this. think. Oh, I love this. I've one. never heard this. If you've ever seen anyone have a epileptic fit, <laughs> epto, epileptic, epileptic, yeah. epileptic. Yeah, they shake. If you know, they shake. Oh, seizures. Yeah, seizure. Yeah. Okay. It was a machine at the So moment. anyway, hey, we're watching TV, okay? Two people that we never miss was Red Skeleton, okay, and then Groucho Marx. They had both had a show on TV in the 60s. So we're watching Red Skeleton, okay, and it's Christmas time. So Red Skeleton, I don't know what the name, whatever his name was in the skit, you know, it's Christmas time. He comes walking out from the right of the stage. Curtains are drawn back. He's walking, and look, he's about to fall down. He's got, uh, his arms are full of presents, you know, wrap, wrap presents. And he, he literally is not even walking. He's, he's going toward his knees, and he's laughing. You know, he's about to lose it because he's fixing to do something. Everybody knows something's fixing to go on here. So he comes out, when he gets center stage, he goes, starts to go to his knee in the secretary, and she is a good-looking thing, okay, and got a tight dress on, and look, <laughs> she's walking, and they're playing the stripper, the, the stripper beat. Da -da 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 she's walking, yo, and she comes up to him and says, Mr. Cadilla Hopper or whatever he was. Cadilla Hopper. You know. Hopper. But, but anyway, she said, hey, I need the keys to your car. We've got more presents. I've got to go back to the office and get. Well, <laughs> he has to get up off his John knees. John <laughs> Yo. And he's like this, and he's got the packages, and he said, the keys are in my pocket. Yo. Well, she runs her hand down in his pocket. And she said, oh, I feel so crazy doing this. <laughs> yeah. And he says, he, he barely can't even say it. He said, feel a little further, baby. You'll feel nuts. 
Look. The next, no, no, look. The next thing you hear is, <laughs> no, no. The next thing you hear is, you hear a big thud. <laughs> Mama comes running in. Dad is on the floor. <laughs> okay, he's shaking violently. He's got crocodile tears coming out of his eyes. <laughs> and he ain't making a sound. What you say? Okay, he's not making a sound. He's laughing, but there's no noise coming out. She runs out and says, James, are you all right? She's bending down on her knee. Tell me, you okay? <laughs> he's lost it, okay? He's gone. He's laughing. He ain't going to quit. Yeah. That's the seizure story. And that's the seizure story. My father never laughed out loud. You never heard him laugh out loud. No. No. He, he, you think he's having some kind of seizure. He'd literally be, he he'd, I mean, his eyes, his eyes would literally be running water. He'd be shaking, just convulsing like y'all. You know. <laughs> We've lost control in the duck. <laughs> lost might control, we ain't. seizures, like in today's time, we might yeah. like. That might be a doctor. Oh no, you would have hey, a doctor would have probably gave him a shot or something, you know. <laughs> uh, he never laughed out loud. And and look, my brothers, Tommy was the same way. Tommy never laughed out loud. You would never hear Tommy go, ah! <laughs> I was gonna say, I never saw day. Tommy smile in the time <laughs> that I never <laughs> No, I'm serious. That's about all you got at him. You tell the best joke ever to Tommy about Tommy. If you might get a little grin out of him, that's it. Oh, uh, no. uh, well, thanks for joining us. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Yeah, that was good. Um, good that's hilarious. TV was apparently different back then, is what I learned today. Oh, yeah. Sigh. Them was the great TVs. You are pure gold, my friend. <laughs> uh, well, we hope you're having a happy holiday season, wherever this finds you. Christmas, New Year's, we're around that time, so... Hopefully you gather with friends and family and just celebrate the fact that Jesus What are you going to leave us with, J.D.? B Biblical. I got, I got you something. Yeah, he, he was getting got something real special. Uh, Luke 146. Mary said, my soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. The mighty one has done great things for me. Holy is his name. That was the mother Amen. of our Lord and Savior. Amen. Savior. Amen. Thanks, Happy New Year, everyone. Thanks for joining us. See y'all next time. See you next year. Next May year. Who knows? Be filled with laughter. Yeah. Well, mine was today. Good gracious. I gotta <laughs> find my hat. See y'all.